everyone welcome back to our channel this is Katie and today I'm here with Charlie he's snoozing right behind me and also baby Catherine and baby Julian and we would like to welcome you back to our channel uh, I hope all of you had a wonderful Labor Day weekend it was the last summer weekend as I call it and it always upsets me guys because I'm such a summer girl and I dread winters here in Illinois but yeah anyways I had some activities planned and of course my body had different plans uh, I don't want to talk about it for like here in, I don't want to go into details because I don't like to talk about my health issues but long story short I ended up at emergency room on a Monday early morning because my neck kind of I got such a, a bad inflammation nerve inflammation that I wasn't able to lift my head off the pillow so my husband I wouldn't go to a hospital I would just wait it out but my husband freaked out he <coughs> excuse me he helped me to get up and he drove me to a hospital. Hospi hospital. They, of course, did x rays. Uh, nothing new. My herniated uh, disc and my vertebrae shifted again. It's pushing on my nerves and that caused inflammation. It's also very, very close to my spinal cord. So I think surgery is pretty much inevitable somewhere in the future and uh, so yeah it's been a mess so right now guys I'm wearing a brace my neck brace so if I move kind of like funky I apologize but anyways I'm uh, what can we do I think everybody has something in their life so uh, I want to thank all of the ladies who have been shopping on my Instagram sale I am so so grateful for your kindness and your patience I will try to get out all of the orders I need to finish the invoices and send the invoices today and uh, start shipping tomorrow and finish shipping on Friday so <clears throat> I just need to move very very slow guys and I can't kind of like bend my head down like my chin so it's a chore so anyways guys I have baby Catherine here and I thought since I have been not feeling well I always uh, project my own moods or the way how I feel onto my dolls if I make a video guys so <laughs> look at her and she has still the same dingy diaper because I brought everything except of the diaper so aunties and uncles you have to excuse the look of her dingy diaper actually this diaper is not even one month old I changed her diaper about three weeks ago and this is how it looks so yeah anyways I'm going to uh, change them as I said I tend to project my own uh, moods and the way how I feel onto my dolls if I make videos so since I'm not feeling fabulous I thought that I would put them into something nice and soft and comfy and I thought I would show you a uh, muslin uh, outfit because I want to show you especially well the primarily focus of, of my video today is little topic and also Julian's outfit so let me get to it I'll just change Catherine really fast for you into this and this thing uh, I ordered it and it said that this is newborn size it is still kind of it will be big on her or roomy not completely big I already already shrank this piece I washed it twice already and it shrank a little bit maybe one more time and it will <laughs> fit perfectly but guys um, yes you can shrink the cotton especially and the muslin pieces or gauze materials if you wash them on a hot setting and if you dry them on a hottest setting possible in your dryer it will shrink so let me put this on her while I chat with you and there has been this little a topic that I wanted to talk about it's not even discussion it's more of a like my musings and it's about the genders of our dolls if you uh, sometimes change your mind if you have this baby plant or this sculpt and you I think a lot of us we plan gender as well when we're planning or uh, 
I'm going to talk about customs. I'm not going to talk about finished products because because I think um, with finished baby it's kind of easier. You see if you either see oh usually see like if the baby is oh my gosh there are buttons here what gender the baby is so you can decide if you're looking for a girl and the the doll gives you boy vibes usually we just pass and we wait for like the, the gender that we want out of that sculpt you know what i mean guys but with customs uh have you ever had uh this situation happen that you pick the sculpt and you had this vision. I think uh, I'm going to talk from my own perspective now. I want to stress that I'm always talking about me and my ways of collecting. Uh, I'm not talking about anyone else. If I ask the question, it's just me wondering if other people think the same way or if they uh, go about picking the sculpt for the collection the same way. So usually when I uh, have a sculpt in mind for custom, I know about the sculpt long time before it comes to vinyl because I am um, following a lot of artists. So I'm going to talk about this one particular sculpt, guys, that I fell in love with. With its head, okay? It was still just a head in clay. And the artist was posting VIPs. She was about to proceed to sculpt the limbs. And I saw that baby and I was like, oh my gosh, I need this scalp. It reminded me a baby from my favorite movie. It's called Grandfather. It's a Czech movie though. There was this baby uh, in a movie and this, this little one looked like that baby. So... When you see this baby and you fall in love with uh, the sculpt, I usually have the gender in mind, right? Do you do that, guys? Or you just want the sculpt and you just wait, I don't know, to see the prototypes? Well, it's not that I was like that sad on this doll being a boy, but I kind of wished uh, and I planned for a boy in this sculpt. And then the prototypes came out and all of them were girls, okay? Suddenly, I felt like, oh my gosh, is this baby uh, even... Can this sculpt be a boy? Because this, was, this baby was uh, sculpted after a girl and I know that most of the sculpts and a lot of ladies, they have absolutely no problem seeing both genders in the sculpt. And I'm better, I used to be worse, guys. I, I would see either girl or a boy, okay? There were really, like, few scalps like Saskia they, that I felt like they were uh, more, like, gender neutral and they could be done both ways. Usually, I just, I, I see, like, certain gender. So when I saw prototypes of these of this particular sculpt, I saw all the girls and I'm like, what am I going to do? I still want the baby. But I really wanted this sculpt as a a boy because I have already a nursery full of girls and I have girls coming so thanks goodness yesterday I saw my friend's baby she got one of the prototypes I'm not going to say uh, by whom she's not on YouTube and it's absolutely amazing and she has this baby as a boy and I felt kind of relieved because the second I saw uh, her baby all dressed and posed as a boy i felt a relief i know this sounds r ridiculous because it, it's dolls i under I, you know but you know where i'm getting guys right i'm very ocd and i really plan ahead and i don't like surprises like that and when i saw those prototypes all girls and i'm like oh brother another girl i love my girls and i still want the baby but i'm hoping i my uh, artists will be able to capture the boy vibe in this sculpt. So I just I just wanted to ask if some of you had even customs done in the past. Why am I giving her this? Because I have no other headband, guys. So you will have to bear with this, Catherine. I get sometimes a boy vibe from this baby. And I've been asking my friends ever since I got Catherine. 
if they what's up i think it's uh rooting does uh rooting makes a lot of difference i think with babies <laughs> look at her oh my goodness this baby isn't she precious And this muslin uh, fabric, it's really, really soft. It's true. The more you wash the muslin, the softer it becomes. So I can easily see why parents of real children love muslin on their babies. It's airy. As they say, it protects the babies from overheating during the summers. So yeah, this is Catherine, guys. And we are back with Julian, guys. And this is the outfit that I wanted to show. This is another piece from Under the Nile company. The one that I showed you, this is their stork line. It's organic cotton. And as I said, this is a domestic brand, but it's um, their cotton, I think it's um, grown in Egypt. And you know, Egyptian organic cotton, it's very, very uh, qu a nice quality. A lot of hotels use Egyptian cotton. Like, with a higher the thread count, the better. So, anyways, this is their little veggie line. And I love, love, love this one. So, I got this sleeper. I beat the bullet. I've been eyeing it for months. And I also got this little banana toy. I wanted the bean, they were out of bean. So, but there is a little uh, banana guy. This is like little uh, lovey. It's a soft toy, the babies can chew on it. Uh, they don't use any artificial colorings. So everything is uh, safe for babies' mouth. And this is Mr. Banana, and this line actually supports 13 Villages Project. The power of giving back. Under Nile fruit and veggie toys share a special history. They are all made through 13 Villages Project, a second initiative to bring economic vitality to poor villages in Egypt, in Egypt via investment, education, healthcare, and microloans. So... By buying the toy, you help the third world uh, villages and the villages in Egypt, particularly. So, so this is uh, again the brand. Wait, this one under the Nile. So I'm going to put this on him. This is a size newborn. As I said, it runs bigger. Uh, I'll see how this fits. And maybe I'll be forced to wash it. So, bad guy. So that's uh, the outfit. And let me go back to there are some threads. I need to take care of them later on. But uh, I want to go back to my topic. So I just wanted to ask in my topic because I'm all over the place again. I just wanted to ask you if you ever had a baby planned uh, to get as a custom at certain particular. Uh, gender and the baby came and you got completely different vibe and I know it's not the end of the world but sometimes uh, ladies you know people spend a lot of money on these dolls they also nest they get all these special outfits too uh, sometimes even like nursery decor only to learn that the doll is not a girl or is not a boy and they will need to get everything new in opposite gender so, so that sucks but in my case i'm not really uh, like super worried because either way i know that i will like the baby i love my artist knows me and she knows what i like so i'm very confident uh when it comes to that, all of my art is actually that I go to with my customs. I am going to also try new artists 
this year and next year I already talked to few it takes forever to get on their list and uh, to get in uh, to get in a place in their queue queue you, you say it so but on the other hand that gives me the time to decide which scalps to see and also to save the money so that's that and then on the other hand I was thinking oh my gosh I would really like to pre like to get all of my final baby purchases. Oh my gosh, final like finished babies purchases, not final baby purchases. The finished babies have been really pleasant as well. So sometimes I'm thinking, should I reserve this scalp as a custom or should I just wait for a nice finished baby? and just uh you know have the money ready and uh strike when i see a baby and to get it uh certainly it's nice not to have to wait and the moment of surprise you get and all that but it's also the risk will you find the baby that you love or will that baby be in your price range that's another thing because let's be honest there are a lot of beautiful babies out there but uh, a lot of them i'm you know we're not willing willing to pay the price or we just we just simply can't so i don't know it's just i always tell myself i'll be i'll wait to see what finished babies are there and I'll just do it that way, but in the end, um, I buy the kit and I'll just have the baby done usually. <laughs> Which both ways, they require a lot of patience, guys. What is going on here, guys? How do you... What? Oh, this way, okay. Oh my goodness, look at this. I love this little veggie line. This is absolutely ridiculously adorable. Look at that. My little vegetable and fruit baby. And I'm saying fruit because there's banana. Banana is not a vegetable, but we have beans, we have tomato, we have a little carrot. Look at that. And they have all these toys as well. You can actually buy a basket, which I didn't because I try not to like litter my bins with a lot of toys and accessories. It's just, ugh, I use it once or twice and then I'll just usually sell them. But I'll be keeping these because I love this line. So where is your banana? There you go. And I like this line for, again, for gender flexibility. You can use it with boys and with girls. Oh my God. Look at, look at little Julian. He can even chew on it. Not like he's a puppy, but you know what I mean, aunties. Yeah. So hopefully, guys, you like uh, baby's outfits. Charlie, what is it, honey? Yeah, we're going back to bed because my, my neck is starting to kill me and I don't, e I can't even see what I'm doing half of the time. So yeah, this is Julian. and hopefully you like his outfit as I, as I said. Let me bring uh, baby Catherine here. I kind of want this muslin type of uh, PJs. I don't know if they make them for adult or not look at them my goodness they're so cute and charlie is so jealous auntie i can't he's sniffing here and he's just not happy because when i say oh my goodness it uh he feels like i should be saying that only when it comes to him but guys so yeah these are my little babas i love them how cute are they 
hopefully you enjoyed my all replies video guys i want to wish you a wonderful rest of the wednesday i don't know if i'll be back tomorrow because i really uh, need to get my orders going but uh I should be back either tomorrow or on Friday. So anyways, guys, I want to wish you a wonderful rest of your Wednesday and till the next time. Bye.